Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to start analyzing rational functions. Right now, we're going to talk about limits. That is, what does y do as x does something? Okay, so we're going to be using this sign. It's an arrow, and it means approaches or gets close to. And we're going to be using a new kind of notation, that is, you haven't seen it before. And that is, here's a typical sentence really in math, as x approaches the number negative 2 on the x-axis from the left. That's what that little, little uh, negative sign means, raised negative sign. And as x does this, what is y doing? Or what is the graph doing? You can look at it both ways. So let's look at this graph for a minute. This is a pretty typical graph of a rational function. Notice these vertical dashed bars. These are called asymptotes. A-S-Y-M-P-T-O-T. E is one of them, but there are two. And they're vertical, so they're vertical asymptotes. So you have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2, and you have a vertical asymptote at x equals positive 1. Okay. Now, let's do our first, or answer our first question. As x approaches, here, as x approaches negative 2 from the left, what does y do? In other words, f of x approaches what? Well, let's look. Here's negative 2. So as x gets closer and closer and closer, to negative 2 from the left, the y coordinates shoot up to positive infinity in the y direction. So I would write infinity. Feel free to pause this video at any time if you want to write this down. All right, now, as the x values approach negative 2 from the right, what does f of x do? Well, OK, here are x coordinates moving into x equals negative 2 from the right. And as they come from the right, look what the graph is doing. It's moving down, 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 down to negative infinity. So I would write negative infinity. Now, as I forgot to underline here as we said this, so I'll read it now. As x approaches negative 2 from the right, f of x approaches, or y approaches, negative infinity in the y direction. All right, now, next line. As x approaches positive 1 from the left, y approaches, or f of x approaches, or the graph approaches. Well, let's see. We're coming in from the left. So as the x coordinates approach 1 from the left, the graph is shooting up to positive infinity in the y direction. So I would say infinity. And as x approaches positive 1 coming in from the right, well, look what the y values are doing, or the graph is doing. The graph is shooting off to negative infinity in the y direction. So I would write negative infinity.
I know this looks strange, but you'll get used to it. Now, look at this question. As x approaches negative infinity, there's only one direction to approach negative infinity from. Since negative infinity is way out here, you can only approach it from the right. And so as x approaches negative infinity, as it goes all the way to the left, what are the y coordinates doing? What is the graph doing? Well, it appears to be getting closer and closer and closer to the y axis and that um, uh, to the x axis, which is y equals 0. Okay, so your graph as x approaches negative infinity, as x goes all the way to the left, the y coordinates of the graph are getting really, really close to the x axis, which is y equals 0. So I would put a 0 in here. And as x approaches positive infinity, that is, as x goes all the way to the right, what are the y coordinates doing? Well, they're also approaching the x-axis, but from underneath. But the x-axis is y equals 0. So I would say 0.